I've been using Daily Harvest for almost four years now. I actually posted a review back in 2019 and I looked back at that review, it was really bad. So let's try it again. So Daily Harvest is a food delivery service and everything is completely plant-based. So there's no animal products in here whatsoever. They also have a really, really wide range of meal options. So they have everything from bowls to smoothies. They have ice cream, they have flatbreads. So you name it, they probably have it. Daily Harvest delivers to about 95% of the continental US and how it works is everything is shipped in this giant box and it's all shipped frozen. I like this because it means you don't have to use everything right away. Way. It has a little bit longer shelf life, but my only complaint about the delivery is I feel like they haven't figured out the right shape of the packaging where except for the flatbreads, everything doesn't fit together really compactly. So no matter what I do, I feel like these always end up completely eating up my entire freezer space. Yeah, that's how delivery works. I think Daily Harvest is one of the best meals delivery companies when it comes to the packaging. So I do like that Daily Harvest avoids a lot of plastic packaging and they do try to make their materials more eco-friendly, more biodegradable. So for example, these bowls are made out of the biodegradable pulp material. So that's really cool. And then their smoothies, for example, these you have to be a little bit careful because these look like it could be a biodegradable like paper, but it's actually made out of a water resistant paper. It's actually not biodegradable and is not even even recyclable. So you have to be kind of careful about that. I do like that it's not a bunch of plastic other than the lid here. The only other thing you do have to be careful of is there's usually not a very tight seal between this like top film part and the bowl. I think that just has to do with the materials. It's paper. It's not going to be able to be as tightly sealed as like a plastic container or something like that. Sometimes when I do get the boxes, I'll see some of these kind of have peeled open just during delivery and just being stored in my freezer and being like moved around a little bit. So keep that in mind. Personally, I still will eat them normally unless they're like completely wide open. Yeah, that's the fact. The price of Daily Harvest ranges from about $6 per item to about $12 with things like the lattes and the smaller items being the cheapest. And then things like the harvest bowls, the harvest bakes. I don't know, I can't remember all the names of them, but basically the bigger items are closer to $12. This is actually pretty typical, I would say for meals delivery services. I think the prices actually are reasonable. I think to have anything under like $10 per item is a good price for most delivery services like this. The other thing is they do have have a bulk discount. So basically the more items you order, they'll just take a flat rate off your order. So for example, if you order over like, I think 23 items, you'll get a flat $25 off. So that basically takes like about a dollar off each item. So definitely keep an eye out for those different price thresholds. And I also do have a discount code. This is just a generic referral link that anyone can get. That'll get you $25 off. So I'll put that down in the description box. Now I have to be honest, the taste is not why I have continued continued to purchase from Bailey Harvest for almost four years. The reason that I really like Daily Harvest is because it is convenient. It's really healthy. I feel like I'm eating something like very nutritious every time I eat from Daily Harvest. I feel like they are very creative. Like they put together unique flavor combinations. They're always coming out with new stuff. Like they constantly have like more and more new flavor profiles coming out. So I do like that. And I think overall the flavor is good. I feel like these meals taste very healthy and refreshing, but they're not necessarily like like craveable meals. And I don't know how the best way to describe this. I, some of them taste better than others, but I wouldn't say if you're looking for like the most delicious meals, this is the reason to buy from Daily Harvest. Let's talk about the specific types of products that I've tried. So the Daily Harvest smoothies, I would say are a little bit different than other smoothie companies that have like pre-made smoothies. Basically these smoothies come in these little like cardboard cups. You open them like this. Everything is frozen inside. So this is the banana and green smoothie. Basically you have to blend it yourself, which I feel like there are some pros and cons to this. I think the pros are it's always like very fresh. You don't have to deal with like weird textures or anything because you blend everything yourself. You can also customize it a little bit. If you want to add almond milk or water or coconut water or like regular milk or whatever you want. So you will need a blender and you will need to blend it yourself. So it's a little bit harder if you're bringing these to like an office or something, but let's make this one and I'll show you how it works. So this one recommends coconut water or regular water. Normally it'll say if it recommends like milk or water. And so basically what I do is I just fill up this cup with water as like a measuring amount and then blend it up. Uh -oh. 
Okay, I like to blend it so it's really nice and like watery. I don't like thick smoothies normally, but. Mm. This is one of my favorite smoothies from Daily Harvest because it's only 120 calories for the whole thing. It tastes a little bit sweet from the banana, but it also has like refreshing greens flavor, which I do like because normally with like green smoothies, sometimes it can be really bitter or like not taste very good. So this is one of my favorites. So in addition to the smoothies, the other category of food that I've eaten a lot from of Daily Harvest is the bowls. So these are called basically like the harvest bowls. Some of the favorite ones that I've tried over the years are the cauliflower rice and pesto. This one is really good and I've actually like, it's pretty low calorie, it's only 220 calories. So my best hack for this one is to use it basically as like a pasta sauce. So I'll add some butter to it and then mix it in with some pasta. It is so delicious. It has sun-dried tomatoes in it, cauliflower. So it's kind of like a way to add some vegetables to pasta. It's really, really good. I haven't had this one in a while though, because I'm going to be honest, after I ate this, I probably ate it like literally 50 times and I started to get sick of it. I do have fond memories of this one. So definitely check that one out. Another bowl that I've really liked is the beet and wild rice. This one is really delicious because it has a really nice, like creamy texture to it and like a creamy sauce on it, which I don't know exactly what's in it. I should probably look at the ingredients, especially with this being plant-based. I think this has one of the best textures. I also like beets, so that one is really good. Another favorite bowl is the, I don't know how you say this, giganti, giganti, giant bean, the cabbage. This one, I feel like the flavor on this one is just really tasty, so I do order this one pretty frequently. Daily Harvest has so many items, like I have not been able to try every single bowl, but these are the ones that I eat pretty frequently, as well as the broccoli and cheese. This one's not my, my favorite, but my husband absolutely loves it. I feel like he always eats these up when we do have the broccoli and cheese, so that's the bowls. The oat bowls are also really good. These are pretty nice because all you have to do is put some milk in it, put them in the microwave, or I guess you could probably cook it on the stove too. They are really nice and creamy. They're pretty filling. Strawberry and goji berry oat bowl. The only thing I will say, I'll say this with all of them, especially the bowls. I won't really say this for the smoothies because I feel like the smoothies are pretty tasty. The sweetness, like they taste healthy, okay? They taste healthy. They're not like overly like sugary or I don't know. So this is more of like a, like when I'm trying to be healthy kind of food. Yeah. Mm. Next are the flatbreads. And I'm gonna be honest, the flatbreads, I would say are not my favorite item from Daily Harvest. I do order them like relatively frequently. I don't really know why. My husband also likes these more than I do. So he eats them more than I do. Basically the problem I have with the flatbreads is the texture is not consistent. Like sometimes the texture will get nice and crispy. And then sometimes it's just kind of like floppy and it's not that good. But the ones that I like the most, my favorite is the pear and arugula flatbread. This one is a really unique flavor combination. I think is really tasty. My least favorite is probably the tomatillo and I don't know, I had something else written down, like tomatillo and like spicy pepper or something. This one I don't love because number one, it's too spicy for me and I have like no spice tolerance. And then the second reason is I think the texture on this one again is not that good. It always kind of breaks apart when I'm cooking it. Yeah, the one thing I do like about the flat fries is they're a little bit higher calories. So I think it's a little bit easier to eat these as like a meal versus some of the other items. In addition to that, Daily Harvest also has a bunch of other items as well. So they have like ice cream. Check out my ice cream review on Daily Harvest if you're interested in that. They have almond milk and stuff like that you can create yourself, all types of other stuff. So I haven't tried everything. If there's anything specifically you'd like me to talk about, let me know down in the comments. So that's it. Overall, I do recommend Daily Harvest. It's something I have personally used for almost four years now, but it definitely has its pros and cons. I'm not reaching for these like constantly, but they are nice to have on hand if I want something healthy for a lunch or snack or something like that. This does seem like something that you would want to try out. I do, again, have that referral discount code down in the description. And if this is not something that it seems like a good fit for you, check out my playlist of other food delivery service reviews that I've done in the past. And until next time, bye.